task number 19 m here we have to do uh, we have to open a task 19 l which we have already created then we have to add <coughs> an arrow on slide number 4 which will point from the first bullet point to the largest segment of the pie chart that is a bluish colored part of the pie chart then a call out box on slide 5 which has to tell that the reader that the image has been placed on the master slide okay this content we have to display in a call out box in a third point what I have to do that the text copyright symbol and microsoft at the end of first bullet point on a slide 6 and it must be in a black color with the 12 point size and the font will be sans serif the fourth point here we have to do that <coughs> we have to draw the horizontal red line having the size is 6 point and uh, it uh, yeah, it this red line must be just above the picture or the image which we have already drawn on a slide number six. Okay, so these things we have to do. So we will open first uh, task 19L which we have already created. So here I am going to open 19L. Okay, in 19L, <coughs> first of all we have to open fourth slide where I have to show an arrow symbol from uh, bulleted first bulleted list to the pie chart uh, to the the bluish colored the maximum area covered by the bluish color so to denote it it's, it must be into the blue color okay so what I will do I will click on a insert then the shape and here is the arrow okay I will click on this portion to the pie chart having bluish color now the color of this arrow is bluish now we have to make it black so click on a shape outline here is the black color click on a black color so this arrow now it will display with the black color ok so here we are going to display it with the black color then second thing we have to do is we have to create in a call box on a slide 5 telling the reader that the image has been placed on the master slide ok so here we are going to open a slide 5 ok so the next slide is a slide 5 and here we have to insert a call out box now I will click again on an insert button then shapes and if you see the call out call out box here are given some call out boxes I have to select one of them so rounded rectangular call out is I have selected and I am going to draw it on the slide now here yellowish a point displayed over here by using which we can move the yellow point on the image which we want to display as a image of master slide ok now here we can enter a text box that this image has been placed on master slide okay so this message is displayed over here by using call out box next okay next thing is here we have to uh, create a text or we have to write a text in slide number 6 with the black color 20 point size and uh, sans serif font ok so I am going to open slide 6 so here is the slide 6 and in the slide 6 the first bulleted 
list item is play with powerpoint here i am going to insert a copyright symbol now how will get a copyright symbol so click on a insert and here is a symbol click on a symbol so you have to select copyright symbol the recently used symbol we can see here but if you can't see a copyright symbol over here then you can select it from in these options okay so subsets are given here Okay, so here I'm selecting this symbol, click on a insert, close. So this symbol is an insert, copyright symbol is inserted over here. And then we have to write Microsoft. Okay, now make this text with the font sans serif. Since I'm using here Times New Roman. Then the font size will be 12 and it should be in a black color. Okay, so copyright symbol is there and Microsoft with the 12 uh, size of the font and uh, black color is there and uh, one more that uh, sans serif font, Times New Roman fonts we have used. Now, next thing we here we have to draw in the same picture, we have to uh, same slide, we have to draw a line having six point size and the color of the line will be red. So here I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So insert, then a shape. Here is a line. So I'm going to draw a line, horizontal line, which is going to separate the image and the text above. Okay, now here I'm going to changing the color that it should be red in color. Okay, and the size of this size of this line should be six points. So here is the six point. Okay, now I'm aligning this at the center. Okay, now this red line is separating this image and the text above, which is a previously we have written. Okay, so this is our task nineteen M. Okay, now here we are going to save this file having name 19M. So file, save as, it is 19M. Save. 